this video will look at hiding the new button um, or any button actually in a service operations workspace or any configurable workspace. Uh, so in a previous video, I created two, um, uh, two list actions uh, in order to uh, create new records with some data already populated. So um, in this case, or in cases like this, you might want to hide the new button uh, so that uh, users have to use one of your two custom buttons, or you might want to hide the export button or any of the other buttons that might appear on here. So the way we do this is we go into, and let me do this in another screen here. We go to, uh, which I already have it up, but uh, we go to uh, list actions. And uh, so then we want to find new. And so sometimes um, there will be a button specific to the table itself. But um, more often than not, it's actually a, um, a global action. So let's find global. Okay, so we have three of them. Uh, now we can see that the client action on this one is create new. So I know it's not that one because the client action is actually create new record. Um, and if we go into the first one, we can see that the view is set to integration hub designer. So it's probably not that one. That's probably for something in integration hub. So it is likely this one. Um, so we could just guess, uh, or we can do uh, one of my favorite things is, you know, just add an underscore under there. And uh, then go back over here and do a refresh. And indeed, that's our one. That's our guy. So we'll go into here. Let me get rid of my underscore. And we just go into action exclusions. Oops, I'm going to save that first. So we go into action exclusions and just uh, punch in our table here that we want to exclude it on incident and check off exclude this table. Uh, there's also this other option, uh, exclude all child tables, and I'm not 100% sure uh, what this means, if it will exclude all child tables under incident uh, I haven't played with that. Okay, so we have our exclusion set. Let's go back here. And our new button is now gone. So that is how to hide uh, a list action in a service operations workspace.